Barbara Blake writes in and says, season th Sea of Thieves Season 7 is here. It's amazing. Why don't you guys play this game more? <sighs> Over time, this game has become a huge success for Xbox as a first-party title. They announced 30 million people have played this game. This new update has made this game even more fun with more ways to play the way you want to play. I'm telling you guys, you need to get back into this game. Jordan, tell us about Season 7. What are the changes with Sea of Thieves? I've not played it yet. Oh, you're not played it <laughs> no. yet? Yeah. But He's been busy playing Hearthstone. Yeah, but everything I have heard has been good. This is the update that allows you to name your ship, save your presets, uh, all new Battle Pass. But everything I have heard, which uh, a lot has been from Barbara Blake. Yeah. Uh, but no, from other people as well, uh, everybody's really enjoying Season 7. Yeah, well done. I mean, yeah. Sea of Thieves has just absolutely... To answer why we don't play the game, or at least for myself anyways... Because there's, I mean, like, for instance, right now I'm on Rim RimWorld. Yeah. There's just so many options out there. I am envious of people that do have a Sea of Thieves, and that's they just play it heavy. I don't have that at the moment, mm -hmm. and I'm searching for one. Uh, a game and a game where I'm always coming back to and progressing, I don't I don't have that. And I'm, I actually downloaded ESO again because I'm trying to jump back into that. And after what Jordan said, that the, what, the Dragonheart pack that I played was the was the worst version of it. So to jump back in and try the other. I don't even know what you're talking about. In ESO. Oh, you're not, you're not oh, paying, no, 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 yeah, you're saying, He's oh, bored. no, yeah. 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 No, the faction you picked, the other two factions have more interesting, I think, zones and storylines. Yeah, but anyways, uh, to back back to uh, Sea of Thieves is one of those games that players that play it, it's their forever game. Mm -hmm. I don't have a forever game right now, and I'm desperately looking for one. I don't know what it's going to be. I even considered jumping back into Guild Wars 2. Mm -hmm. But I want uh, Destiny is another example. I'm jealous of people who Destiny is their forever game. I, I need a, I would like to have a forever game in my life. I don't. Jordan, do, what ha, have you jumped back into Destiny again? Yeah. By the way, because yeah. you were like, yeah, still playing too. it, yeah, do playing you, the campaign on heroic. Yeah, Jordan's Hard. forever game is World of Warcraft. <laughs> he always goes back when the DLC uh -huh. is yeah. there. Yeah, Spicy, much. do you have a forever game? I have several. Yeah. Yours is Hearthstone, Hearthstone, Overwatch, um, Forza. Ah, see, I don't have one. I need. Yeah, one. I have. I have several that I always go back to. I mean, okay, I play the the Forzas, for instance, but I don't view that as a forever... Hearthstone I view as a forever game, yeah. or even Overwatch. I don't know that Forza is, because I, I play it when the new one comes out. But there's there's games that like constantly progress you, and most of them are MMO or MMO styles. My problem with Sea of Thieves, it's going to be an unpopular opinion. I want to give my unpopular opinion on that, too. Yeah, my problem with Sea of Thieves is, and they do this, there was a distinct choice by them. that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to level up, in my opinion. There's stuff to earn to make your ship look really cool. But what I want in my forever game is a sense of permanency. And they don't have that sense of permanency. Like, yes, Not I without could, a thousand hours. Well, but, but what I mean by that is I want, like, why can't I have a freaking badass island that's my own island that even if it's in an instance and then I can completely customize. Like, that to me is... ESO has player housing. Grand Theft Auto Online has player housing. They have cars and vehicles and garages and stuff that you can collect. That's true. Really, Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves just has my ship is gold. My ship is blue. My ship is. And I think your. I, I, I mean, you could argue your your ship may be your player housing, especially now with season with, seven with this presets that they have you saving. With the naming, you know I, mean? yeah. I would agree that that's more the of the naming, direction. Yeah. So, but to me, they don't. Sit, and then since I don't, since I can't make my character level up. That kind of takes away that sense of progression for me. Mm -hmm. um, and I know it's a distinct choice, and I think it's a good choice by them. Um, it's a good system. It makes it very accessible, whereas like a Destiny 2 is not as accessible. But it also, for me, takes away, again, that forever that it can't, forever game for me. But, but again, I know. It's, it's very good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's not good, but I want a sense of permanency in my forever game. Psychotic says with the new trinket system and ship customizing, it makes you uh, want more. It makes what you want more attainable. I, I agree with that. Uh, that's, that's why I do like that. Uh, there would be no way to monitor the island after you log it. Well, well I would you would just, just yeah, you'd make it. You'd have to make it instance like every other player housing. Yeah, it would just be an instance yeah. that you could invite your, your friends into and to check out your hangout at, you know, type of deal. But yeah. Anyways, great question, mm. Barbara Blake. I, I hear it's really good. And maybe one day I'll jump into it. Oh, Spicy, your unpopular opinion on Sea of Thieves. Well, yeah, why I don't play it. Or controversial, rather. Eh. 
Why, why don't you? Let me start out with my positives. Yeah. I love sa- like sailing oh, and, like, like, and having to do the stuff that you need to do to Relaxation. Sail. Yeah. The hardest part for me playing this game and why I do not personally go back to this game often is I feel mm-hmm. like the combat, whether it's PvP or PvE, is mm-hmm. just straight up janky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, it is. It's, it's just bad. Also, I it's, think that's also, I think, a distinct decision on their part, like yeah. stylistic yeah. decision. I know. Well... That style is why I don't play it. It's not for you. You're <laughs> yeah. a precision man. It's just so janky. Whether it's PvP, PvE against some skeletons, the bosses that are just straight up bullet sponges. Oh yeah, okay. I will I will admit with you that at least the bosses that we played, um I think they're some anyway, yeah. Yeah, they were just damaged them for two and a half hours and then they finally died. <laughs> like it's so janky to me, and I don't want to discredit Anybody that likes this game, this is just my opinion for me. It's so janky that I get bored of the jankiness. Like in the middle of combat, this is why when I play with Blake, I think he Bar- Barbara Blake, I think he hates playing with me. Because <laughs> I'll be like, oh my gosh, my sword swings are so janky. I'm just gonna pull. Out, I'm gonna start fishing right here in the middle of the fight. <laughs> fight. Start fishing. <laughs> yeah, Jordan, see me do it. Yeah, because it's just so like. It's just a it's a turn off to me, and that's the yeah. only reason. I mean, I really, really like sailing, but the sailing can only take you so far. Yeah. Because once you sail for three hundred hours, you've sailed for three hundred hours. Yeah. Yeah. Jordan, yeah, this is one of your forever games, I'd say. Well, I mean, I I go back every now and then. It's it's fun. I I had the goal to hit Pirate Legend, and uh, with Blake, I hit it a while back. Um. It's. Once I hit Pirate Legend, I will say I slowed down a lot there, because yeah, it was kind of it was it was kind of it was, well, was kind of like goal, yeah it was, it was like what's what's the next step? You could still level up Pirate Legend and and unlock customizations and stuff like that. Uh, Blake and I were talking about it a little while ago. I just I wish they had. I like the idea of they don't give you you don't progress for power and it makes everything an even scale. Well, again, I, I think that I, makes yeah, it decision. accessible. Yeah, it makes it accessible. Well, it, it is decision, and and I I like that for this game. Not every game needs to be that way, but it works in this setting. I just I wish there was another thing I could progress for, progress towards. Does season seven and the the new season battle passes not do that for you? Well, their battle passes uh, battle passes are always hit and miss. Like some are cool, so it's all subjective, right? Because it's usually just all cosmetics. Um, but I just I mean, what what I primarily go back for is I like doing the events and I really like doing uh, the stories. Yeah. that they do. Um, the events are pretty fun, although. One of them was incredibly frustrating, um, but the stories, like the uh, what are they called, the tall tales, yeah, like the you know the ca- their version of a campaign, those are really fun, and I'm excited for them to release the next chapter. And the the Pirates of the Caribbean one was really fun because you got to see all your all the Disney pirates and stuff. But anyway, I just once I hit Pirate Legend, that's what's I still play and I like the game, but I just I wish there was an addition. There was just one more like what what like now that I've hit Pirate Legend what's next you, yeah. you know um yes. anyway but Even I, psychotic who plays this game all the time psychotic d- did say there is really no incentive after hitting Pir- pirate legend to be honest i wonder if they're looking at some sort of additional xp currency mm-hmm. or some sort of thing to do again i don't even think that you need to have anything level up wise i think and maybe this this season seven with the ship naming is the first step like let me fully customize my ship make it my player housing because yeah, yeah. in all honesty if i jump on a spicy ship or your ship or a psychotic ship or blake ship the only thing that changes is the skin of the sails and the color of the ship mm-hmm. everything else is the same but imagine if i could jump into your and i go down into your deck and that's your player housing and it's completely yeah. customized just that alone well, and they, working towards items to put in those, that alone is is a huge incentive. They've done a good job. Like they've they've added multiple world events. There's they've done they've done a, where they I think they've really done a good job is the fact that Sea of Thieves would be notorious for you'd log on and then about four to five hours later you complete what you were doing. They have added activities that are less lesser in time. So like, hey, let's log on and go you know, do this activity, which will only take an hour, you, you know, yeah. so you, they've done a good job with that. So you don't have to, you know, when you plan to play Sea of Thieves, you don't have to like, all right, the next five hours is, you know, you got to block you know. five hours, baby. But, um, 
they've done a good job. They've done a good job of adding locations, doing seasonal events, doing story events. I think all that's great. I just, my only criticism is what is there to do after pirate legend? I mean, you can say that with any game. You can say, well, once you prestige in call of duty, what do you do? Yeah. You know? So, I mean, you can say that with any game, but I, well, you prestige 12, 12 times. Yeah. You just prestige. I mean, pirate legend is basically prestiging cause you can go up the levels and they've, they have increased the levels. I think they used to be 15. Now they're 75. Yeah. So they have increased them, but it's kind of just, you know, I, I wish there was one another type of progression that, yeah. that would Having work. Having said that, but Sea of Thieves is fantastic. They've done a fantastic job. Yeah, the world of supporting it. The world now is is. I mean, they have underwater zones that you can go so to. Cool. They have yeah, it's really fun. But um, so cool. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Anyways, Barbara Blake says it is amazing. Yeah, season no, I've heard seven. a lot of good things about season a lot seven. of players are saying that. So if you haven't yet, go check it out. There's actually a thread over on our Discord again. Xonebros.com forward slash Discord. Come join, come join the thread. There's LFG thread. If you're into Sea of Thieves, come join the community. Uh, sail up with some people. Sell it up, baby. 